Hello all and welcome to my first ever video tutorial uh, which is being made for the Cartographers Guild. I am RPG Map Maker, uh, sort of a recent uh, new member. Uh, you can get to their website by going uh, to http colon forward slash forward slash forum dot cartographers guild dot com or just uh, going into Google and type in Carto Cartographers Guild. Uh, I'm using Cam Studio and I would like to show you some stuff that uh, you can do with the brushes in Photoshop. Uh, for instance, I'd like to make a really quick mountain range. So uh, instead of uh, hand drawing these mountains, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of brush them in here uh, to show you the power uh, that you can really kind of get with uh, brush presets. Um, now, obviously someone who takes the time to hand draw their brushes is it's gonna look a lot nicer than this but uh, if you're looking for something a little quicker uh, this is definitely a viable option in my opinion uh, and then you can go in and you can add layer styles and you can do shading uh, just like uh, the hand drawn versions but uh, in order to define a custom brush of this type uh, first thing you're gonna do is uh, go up and make a new lay uh, new composition uh, I generally use about one uh, one inch by one inch with a, a higher resolution, say 300, 600, 1200, and uh, make it transparent. Uh, I'm going to cancel out of that because I already have one over here uh, with a, a sample mountain that uh, is actually the one that I just used, uh, and it's just two layers. A uh, white background is more for me, so that uh, as I'm drawing on that layer, I can kind of see what's going on. Because when, when you turn off uh, the background, it's just uh, little harder to look at uh, for those who uh, are used to drawing on paper. Um, and then once you have uh, whatever image, just make sure that uh, that uh, white layer is off when you uh, go ahead and you define your uh, define brush under edit. And you can name it whatever you want. Uh, and that will uh, throw it down into your, uh, your custom brushes. Um, but uh, the real magic behind the actual brush itself is uh, under window brushes you get into uh, all of the controls for each individual brush and I'm not going to go all over all of them uh, I invite you to do that at length uh, on your own but under tip shape just uh, drag that spacing out so that you get this uh, you know non brushy looking shape but uh, you actually kinda get that mountain rangey look and feel that uh, one might expect from a mountain range uh, turn your uh, under shape dynamics. Get a little bit of a size jitter going. That way uh, you're not uh, really overdoing it and getting teensy weensy mountains in there. Although uh, that may be a look that you might be going for. But uh, just kind of give it uh, enough of a, a shift that it's noticeable. And go ahead and throw the roundness jitter way up there to give you those flatter looking mountains and those uh, higher peaks. Um, uh, but also uh, make sure that your minimum roundness isn't set too low otherwise you're going to get these really tiny flat mountains again which uh, just kind of looks tacky so just uh, enough randomness to make it look more hand drawn than it really is uh, but not enough to make it look hokey and that's about all you really do for this type of brush and just brush it in there to uh, give yourself that uh, semi hand drawn look uh, one other thing that you can do uh, just to show you real quick is uh, for those of you who like to make uh, town maps you can define a custom brush that looks something like that and you can go into your windows brushes and under shape dynamics turn everything off except for your angle jitter uh, you don't actually have to turn it on uh, just set the uh, control to direction and uh, again drag your spacing out so that you've got that uh, separation between your buildings and then just go in and whatever direction you stroke when you uh, either click or touch with your uh, pen if you're using a drawing pad uh, will set the uh, direction of your building uh, so that you can kind of throw them in along a street or at diagonals if uh, you so choose to just give you the ability to place buildings really quick of course you can use variable mountain types ranges uh, you can make hills for yourself or whatever you're looking at but uh, just something for you to think about and play with uh, I know a lot of people are interested in custom brushes and I'll try to put out a a zip file 
in the next week or two uh, with some of these custom brushes in it and uh, others that you guys might request on this tutorials uh, page on the forum. But uh, thanks for your attention and I'm going to be uh, signing out now.